Good evening, everyone. Today is Saturday, March 18th. My name is Tyler. I serve on staff at Northwest Hills as the Director of Youth and Digital Ministry, and I welcome you to this video, another in our series of Linton Reflections. Now, as far as the calendar is concerned, we are now about halfway through our Linton journey together. And so I thought that for tonight's video, it might be nice to just pause take a step back and have a little time to analyze and reflect on how our Lenten journey is going so far, to check in on the health and status of your own feast and your own fast. Perhaps this has been uh, just a really fruitful time of self-examination and reflection and repentance for you, and there are things that you can point to and places where you can point to where you have felt God walking and journeying alongside you. And if so, that's great, and I come into that. And maybe it's been a really challenging time, and you still have those blessings, or maybe it's been a challenging time, and you don't quite have that. Or maybe if you're anything like me, uh, you're not hitting those 20-minute centering prayer meditations quite every day like you were at the beginning of Lent, and so having an opportunity to analyze why that is and to reflect on that and make that change might be helpful and fruitful for you moving forward. And so what I want to do is invite you to pause this video in just a second, take a few moments considering your feast and your fast in this season, and then when you're ready, come back to the video, and I have a prayer that I want to share with you so you can carry forth into the rest of your Lenten journey. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. It is always a little bit weird for me, just like sitting silently for a few seconds and assuming you are pausing the video. And I hope that you do, because otherwise I feel it may make me look a little bit crazy. But nevertheless, we have rejourneyed together, we have regathered together. And I want to send you forth this evening with this Byzantine Vesper prayer. The words will be on the screen, and I invite you to pray it with me. And my hope is that this can be a prayer that however your uh, season of Lent is going for you so far, you can carry with you into the next season. Uh, I said season too many times, but I'm not going to re-record because I'm human and that's fine. We all mess up. So into the <laughs> second half of your Lenten season, I hope that this can be a prayer that you carry with you, that can give you encouragement, uh, that can strengthen you in your journey and, and remind you of the purpose for this season and this time of reflection, repentance, and self-examination. So I invite you to take whatever posture of prayer it is that you take when you go to God in prayer, as we, separated by time and space but united by the magic of the internet, go to God in prayer together as one people, one body, and one voice, praying this Byzantine Vesper prayer. While fasting with the body, brothers and sisters, let us also fast in spirit. Let us loose every bond of iniquity. Let us undo the knots of every contact made by violence. Let us tear up all unjust agreements. Let us give bread to the hungry and welcome to our house, the poor who have no roof to cover them, that we may receive mercy from Christ our God. Amen. Friends, it's been a joy creating these videos, and I hope that your season of Lent is proving to be fruitful in your life as you walk through it with God on your own journey. And I pray you can carry this prayer with you uh, as maybe a mantra or a nightly prayer to help you connect with this time uh, in our church calendar that we share together. I hope I see you tomorrow at church too, but if not, I'll see you Monday with another video.